Loiko launches the Lure Pro 3 smartphone. We have two new products from Xiaomi in India. Google launches the Allo smart messaging app on iOS as well as Android and much more on today's daily. This is day 265 of 2016 and you're watching Phone Arena Daily, your everyday fix of technology news. Loeco has just announced the Lure Pro 3 smartphone that features a 5.5-inch Full HD display with 2.5D curved Corningola glass. It has a unibody metal design that packs inside a 4070mAh battery that is Quick Charge 3.0 compliant and also is bundled with a 24W charger that provides 3 hours of talk time in just 5 minutes of charge. The device is powered by a Snapdragon 821 quad-core processor that's clocked in at 2.35GHz. You get two variants, one with 4GB of RAM and 32GB of internal UFS 2.0 storage and the other with 6 GB of RAM and 64 GB of UFS 2.0 storage. They don't have micro SD card slots but they feature a fingerprint scanner as well as an IR blaster. At the back you have a 16 megapixel camera that has a dual tone LED flash, f2.0 aperture and a Sony IMX298 sensor. Up front you get an 8 megapixel camera with 1.4 micron pixel size and f2.0 aperture. The device has stereo speakers that support Dolby Atmos technology and it makes use of a USB Type-C port for the audio port as well. The device is already up for pre-order in China and will start shipping from 28th September onwards. You can check the details about the different variants and the pricing from the link in the description below. Xiaomi has just announced the Mi Air Purifier 2 product which is the first Mi ecosystem product to be launched in India. The device has an 802.11n Wi-Fi connection that allows you to connect it to your home network and monitor its usage as well as other settings over the Mi Home app on both Android as well as iOS. The device will set you back rupees 9999 and will also come with a replaceable filter that has a lifespan of roughly 6 months which depends more or less on your usage and that'll cost you another rupees 2499. The Mi Air Purifier 2 will be available starting from September 26th at 12pm on Mi.com and will also be available from Flipkart starting on October 2nd. Additionally, Xiaomi also announced the Mi Band 2 at a price of Rs. 1999 and it will be available starting from 12pm on September 27th from Mi.com and Amazon India starting from September 30th. Samsung has just announced that they have imported around 500,000 units of the Galaxy Note 7 that are free from any manufacturing defects. These units are now available across different carrier as well as retail outlets for users to exchange in exchange for their old Note 7 which is faulty. Additionally, Samsung also said that they'll be releasing a software update that makes sure that the non-faulty units will have a green battery percentage icon instead of the regular icon found on the faulty Galaxy Note 7 units in order to make the users reassured that their unit is in fact a safe one. Google has just launched the Allo smart messaging app that it announced alongside the Duo video calling app back during Google I.O. in May. The app comes with a Google Assistant on board and uses your phone number as your primary identification. Users can also optionally add their Google ID to it and it also supports stickers as well as a built-in search feature through Google. Google Allo is available on both Android and iOS starting from today and you can download them from the link in the description below. Today's deal of the day is an offer on the Toshiba Canvio portable 1TB hard disk drive that is available in both red and black colors and at a discounted rate of Rs 4,399 compared to the MRP of Rs 5,670. You can purchase the hard disk from the link in the description below exclusively through Flipkart. So that brings us to a point of today's discussion. What do you guys think about Google's new smart messaging app Allo? Have you tried it yet already? If not, please do so and let us know your thoughts about the same. We'll also be doing a separate video in the Ask FA series where you can ask us questions about any of the team members or our work or anything related to smartphones or gadgets in general. So do make sure to let us know your questions through the comment section below or through one of our social media channels and we'll be sure to get back to you and just use the hashtag AskFA. So that's it for today guys. See you again tomorrow with more technological news.